Good morning. My name is Dr. Mitchell Mosier, and I'm here with uh, uh, Sean, who I taped with this uh, arch lock taping about two weeks ago. And uh, let's, how did you, you do, Sean? Did very well. Uh, suffered from plantar fasciitis, and uh, the wrap was extremely supportive, uh, very durable. Uh, supposed to keep it on five days, could have kept it on a lot longer, but. Uh, uh, experienced no pain and actually when I took it off uh, I haven't had any problems since. That's wonderful. This is a great taping for plantar fasciitis. It's also good for knee pain, especially medial knee pain, shin splints, Morton's neuromas, which is an enlarged nerve in the metatarsal region. It's good for bunions and hammer toes, arch pain and strain. Uh, pretty good for just about whatever ails you. Uh, it also sometimes even helps back pain. It was devised by uh, Dr. Harry Lawson, who was a prominent podiatrist back in the 1960s, 1970s. It's a slightly different taping technique than I learned in my training in school, and uh, it's highly effective. Okay, so I'm going to come around and put the tape on and show you how we do this. I have some... Okay, so I'm going to... ...supplies, we need to have uh, scissors. You need tape. I uh, use a <clears throat> pre-taped spray called Pedanol, or you can use tincture of benzoin. Purchased at the pharmacy, or the pharmacist can order it for you. And then at the conclusion, we use some candle wax, or I make these little paraffin wafers to uh, seal the tape and uh, we'll make it water resistant. That's why Sean could leave it on for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to use uh, some some Q-tips because the home users will probably not have access to the tape spray. And so we take this tincture of benzine on the Q-tips and put it around the foot. It might be a little cold, huh? And this just helps to protect the skin and to uh, get the tape to stick a little better. So. Now, I have pre-measured and pre-cut the strips of tape that I'm going to be using. And I've got one inch strips. And the first strip is going to go from behind the small toe, about an inch or so, to below the arch. Now when I put that tape on, I pulled the big toe down toward the floor and I lifted up with my thumb these metatarsals to help put the foot into neutral position. So I take another strip of the half inch tape and repeat the process over the top of the first one. And again I'm pulling down the plantar flexing the toe toward the, toward the floor and lifting up the metatarsals and I do that with each strip. Now, mind you, I am not pulling this tape real, real tight around his foot. I'm just laying it, laying it on there. So after about three of those one-inch strips, I take a couple of these inch-and-a-half strips, and I start on the outer side of the foot, right about there, and I come under the arch, and again, I'm pulling the toe down and I come over the top of the foot without pulling on the tape. Okay, I'm just laying it, resting it on the skin and believe it or not that just puts the foot into a neutral position, locks the arch. And those are the main ingredients and then the last piece I will come over the top And one more right over those, those seams so then when he puts his socks on he doesn't roll the tape back. It's only got one edge to deal with so it hides all those other overlapping edges. Nice and neat. And then paraffin wax or candle wax coat it and seal it and get all that sticky stuff off so it doesn't smear it on his socks.
And so that's called an arch lock taping. And uh, I want to thank you for watching my video and have a great day. Be sure you visit my website www.drmitchellmosher.com or bowentherapyforlife.com.